when will the Zelda Direct happen? Well, you tuned into the right video. Plus, a huge game has just been confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. That and so much more. One epic video. Let's go. Oh, we have our terrible Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays. everybody how are y'all doing boy do we have some news today but before we get started give the video a thumbs up like let's crush 300 400 500 600 likes destroy the like button let's get right to the news Zelda's 35th year anniversary has officially begun on the 21st, two days ago, Sunday, February 21st, 19, I think it was 85 is when we first got Zelda, or 86, 85 or 86, you do the math, but everybody celebrated it except for Nintendo. Why has Nintendo been so quiet and when can we expect a Zelda-focused Nintendo Direct? Well, this article on VentureBeat.com gives us a good idea on when we can expect the next Nintendo Direct. Now, Nintendo, according to this article, they're marketing geniuses. They know how to market and sell their products. Usually, an anniversary celebration is tied to money and sales this is what many have forgotten nintendo is still doing their mario 35th year anniversary the mario 35th year anniversary according to this article does not end until march 31st it doesn't officially end until march 31st and so why would Nintendo overlap Mario with Zelda? And so, according to this article, the next Nintendo Direct or a Zelda-focused presentation should happen after March 31st in April because Nintendo will still have an entire year to celebrate Zelda. But why overlap Zelda with their Mario celebration? They are still trying to sell Mario 3D World. They're still trying to sell the Mario um, 3D All-Star games. So Nintendo is still pushing and emphasizing Mario until March 31st. And then after March 31st, they could, they'll have no overlapping, no conflict of interest in sales. They're a business at the end of the day. They want to make money. And so... After the Mario 35th anniversary ends on March 31st, expect to see major, major Zelda news. Yes, we did get the Wind Waker announcement, but major, major Zelda news after they're officially done with the Mario celebration. And it makes perfect sense. Next news item. Huge news. Nintendo has all but confirmed Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 coming to the Nintendo Switch. This is what Tony Hawk tweeted out and Nintendo retweeted. Just heard Crash Force coming to new platforms and I'm kind of jealous. Hey, at Crash Bandicoot, can you hook Tony Hawk game up? <laughs> Nintendo tweeted it out with huge eyeballs. And this wasn't their only tweet. They have been tweeting out in response to um, Tony Hawk's tweet on his game and coming to other platforms. And um, reliable sources, many sources are saying 
that well, we don't even just say reliable sources nintendo themselves continue to retweet this game meaning a trailer and a reveal is imminent we can expect sometime in the next weeks or even days a, an official announcement of tony hawk pro skater one and two coming to the switch what are your thoughts on this are you going to pick this up i have to admit i've never played a skateboarding game in my life i lied as soon as i said that i thought about on the nes um what was that game back to the future uh, when you're on the skateboard at the beginning i did play that other was it california sports or there's some no there was a it was focused on skateboarding where you're in a half pipe i played the skate skating games on the nes i've never played a 3d <laughs> skating game and so i'd probably cop this if it comes out on the switch it's already been released on um playstation and so um tony hawk one and two coming to the switch which is huge the switch doesn't really have a huge skateboarding game so coming to the switch let's go next news bro we even got some ps5 news soon crazy ps5 news but bro ghosts and goblins resurrection the game that will be coming soon to the switch this week is releases this week on the switch it's the reviews have been coming out most notably ign gave the game an eight out of ten bro and when i saw that i was i was mad first i think it's deserving of an eight out of ten the game is a fun game i love this game on the nes i am going to be picking this up but as soon as i saw that i thought about bowser fury bro how they gave this game an eight and mario 3d world bowser furies is seven bro ign bro come on bro but um we'll be picking this game out it got an 8 out of 10 it seems to be reviewing well um so go and cop this game bro all right next news item sony has officially confirmed playstation vr 2 coming to the playstation 5 a new playstation vr system specifically made for the playstation 5 two things of note one there they are um it will come with a new controller we know um psvr on the ps4 had the move controllers seems like they're ditching the move controllers the blog from the official playstation site says they're going to have new vr controllers that will implement the hd rumble that's in the dual sense controllers which is pretty dope and it will not be launching in 2021 so it's a little odd this is the beginning of 2021 for them to be announcing it but it will not be coming out this year speaking of games not coming out this year bro gran turismo 7 has been officially delayed that's right sony interactive entertainment ceo has recently said in an interview that the game has been pushed back from 2021 into 2022 and a bummer because i was looking forward to this game i haven't been on my ps5 in a minute this is one of the games i was looking forward to by now i thought i would have been playing crash band i mean not crash um ratchet and clank they said a launch window that's coming to the end of summer that's a long launch window but this is i think this is a big blow Gran Turismo 7 has been delayed. Tough. Next news item. Bro. Speaking of PlayStation 5 and Sony. Sony has announced Days Gone is coming to PC this spring. Which marks another Sony exclusive coming to the PC. So both Xbox and PlayStation seem to be going the pc route a little different strategy and we're going to talk about nintendo how nintendo relates to this but xbox day one they're putting exclusives on pc bro sony seems to be nah our, our, our exclusives coming out on our um, console first and then a year a couple years or a year or two later then they'll go to pc which makes sense because sony still is trying to um, sell hardware nintendo nintendo on the other hand is now fam the only way you're gonna be able to play zelda legally 
is on our console. And I say this all the time, I am not a PC gamer. I've never been a PC gamer. The only, the only way I would become a PC gamer is if, if Nintendo starts doing day and date launching games on PC, then I would play on the PC. Do I think that would ever happen? Nah, nah. All right, dudes, those are the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we discussed? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Ned, Ted, Doe, we out. Peace. While they, while they fight each other. All right, we out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at ob one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.